Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the ball field. We're in Springerville, Arizona as the 9 to 11 year old all-star teams get ready to kick off their tournament play. As we get things started right here on the live stream, please let me know how I'm coming through. We're trying a new microphone for fun this evening. Let me know if you can hear me. I'm going to throw it up on my phone, see if I can hear myself. All right, I can hear myself. That's an interesting thing. Hit that share button. Let your friends and family know that we are live here in 15 minutes as we get ready for the first game of districts here in Springerville, Arizona, 9 to 11, as your Round Valley Elks take on Mountain Pines. Winner plays on Wednesday. I believe loser plays tomorrow against Silver Creek. Hi there. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. I am. Is this Jace? This is Jace. Jace, we're live, buddy. I just went live. Let's go. We got some help on both sides of the diamond today. We got William McBride, an 8 to 10 All Star, and got Jace Lettner from Mountain Pines. Now, are you on the 8 to 10 as well? No. No, you just got the jersey. You're just rocking it. Yeah. His dad's coach. All right. And your dad is Jacob, right? I'm not making, making stuff up. All right. You can sit right here if you want, or you got a blue chair there, whichever you'd rather. Guys, we're trying out some new microphones, so please, in the chat, let me know that you can hear me loud and clear. Hit that share button. Let your friends and family know that we are live, and we are 14 minutes away. All right, Jace, I'm going to hand you this very sophisticated. Do you like this microphone? What do you think about this right here? That way you get a little sugar in the middle of the game. What do you think? Maybe? All right, so hang on to that real quick. It is the tiniest microphone ever, so I had to get something for it. Go ahead and say something, Jace. Tell us a little bit about yourself. So I am 11 years old, and I did play for Mountain Pines, but decided I wanted to take a break. And what are you doing during your sabbatical from baseball? Uh, BMX, a little bit of baseball, okay. lots of fun stuff. Tell us a little bit about this Mountain Pines baseball team tonight. How are they looking? They're looking good. Coach is kind of questionable, but other than that, pretty good, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so guys, let us know in the chat. To join the chat, we do need you to hit that subscribe button, and it'll let you chat a few minutes after that. So if you are on, let us know how well you can hear us right now on the live stream. William, why don't you give us a mic check, bud? You and Jace are going to share mics tonight. We got two of them, so you guys are just going to pass that guy back and forth, okay? So go ahead and snag it from him, and let's do a mic check with you. All right. Is this good? Now we got to let it catch up. It's about 10 or 15 seconds behind live, for those of you who don't know. William, what do you guys think about the 9 to 11 Elks baseball team? You played with a lot of these guys, right? Tell us, who are you excited to listen to tonight? Or who are you excited to watch play tonight? Uh, Trevin Hamblin and uh, Mason Latham. All right. All right, we're going to give it a sec as we do a mic check right now. Guys, hit that share button. Let your friends and family know that we are live on YouTube here on Let's Go Elks for the first game of districts. The sunning setting is right in my eyeballs, but it should be good for the players here just momentarily. Okay, so that's pretty good, guys. Keep your microphone about that far away from your face, right where you guys were, where you're holding it. Don't eat it but don't have it too far away because it does drop off pretty quick. Guys, we are live here in Springerville, Arizona. Quinn Ashton behind the diamond tonight. It's all over, ladies and gentlemen. No, Quinn's fantastic. Glad to have him here tonight. What are you thinking, Quinn? It's going to be a good night for some baseball. The wind's calming down a little bit, so we're excited about that. It was a little more hectic. Well, I guess it still is if you look at the flag out there. It is blowing right to left see some dingers dang it i think is what they call them i don't know so quinn a few a few rule changes from previous all-stars correct yeah and uh, mr hamlet just went over with me and i don't remember this was a pop quiz to see so the biggest change for you guys and we'll say this a few times because it is new in years past depending on how many kids you had on your roster in the dugout would dictate how many innings they had to play, how many at-bats, what was happening. Rule change this year is 
everybody bats on your lineup, period. You run through your lineup, but you do not have to defensively play every player for a certain amount of time. And so you may see the same nine on the field the, the whole time. You may see a lot of changing it up, but the coaches now have that um, autonomy, I guess you'll say, to play the kids a little differently. But every kid does bat. So you're going to see all 12 of Mountain Pines and all 13 of Round Valleys at the plate to bat tonight. The most important thing is bat. It is. I mean, that's why I'm here. Coach Puses for the Round Valley Oaks, getting his team ready to get started right now. Ten minutes, guys. Ten minutes to game time. We'll get things going here at Springerville, Arizona. I don't think the field's named anything, is it, Marco? I was about to say, like, something, something field, but I don't think it is. I think it's just that coached the Padres. She was, she was mean. I remember that. She was mean. Okay, so that sounds right. I yeah. think it is named after Vicky, ba Vicky okay. Baldonado, who coached, I think, forever. I'm sure she was on the board for the Little League forever. forever. I do know, or I'm like 90% certain, that that's the Michael Pena t-ball field out in right field. Um, that softball tournament just got over. The Michael Pena softball tournament, I think, was last weekend. Um, or oh, the weekend before, excuse me. Two weekends ago, we have some people that rodeo with us, and they came Friday but couldn't come Saturday because they were playing in the softball tournament on Saturday. So Quinn Ashton calling the coaches to home plate. They're going to run it off. Guys, another rule change this year is they're going to run around the bases, and whichever coach wins gets to pick home or away. No, that's not true at all. That is not true at all. All right. Jace, I'll try not to forget your name, but Jace, here we go. Talk me through your guys' lineup. See how much you know about your team. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. So grab that microphone. There is the Mountain Pines team. Will, you hold on to the Elks for a minute. All right, so tell me about Branson Skousen starting off as pitcher tonight. What do you know about him? Um, he's a good guy. He He's like me. He likes to play Xbox a lot. What game on the Xbox do you play? I play Halo and NHL 22. Okay. He plays like MLB The Show. Okay. All right, let's move now to number 10, Brigden Flake. Tell me about Brigden. Uh, don't know much about Brigden, but he does well on the team He's like the everyone else. second batter, second baseman starting out tonight. So we're going to find out real quick a little bit about Brigden. Tell me about Lockhart Kirkham, number 99, starting catcher. Well, he's a funny person and likes to joke around and say funny words. What's one of the jokes he would tell us? Uh, he says, uh, hey, guys, make me look drippy. All right, all right. Number 22 next, Jace Hamseth, number, uh, excuse me, first baseman. Tell us about Jace. Uh, he's been a good friend of mine for a while. All right. Um, mm -hmm. What is something cool about Jace that you can share with us? Mm. We like to hang out and play Xbox a lot. Another Xbox. Okay, what mm -hmm. games does he play? Uh, he plays like Minecraft, Plants vs. Zombies, lots of games. More importantly, mm -hmm. why don't you play PlayStation? What do you do in playing Xbox? Um, the controls are just way easier on oh. Xbox. Okay, okay, guys. We are going to get ready for the National Anthem and the Little League Pledge. So if you wherever you're at, stand with us, remove cover for the National Anthem. We are seven minutes away from the start of the ball game here in Springerville.
I believe we'll probably have the Little League pledge here in just a second. Guys, one thing I did notice, Harrison Slade, William, is taller than one of the coaches. Poor Jason. I think the Harrison may be a little bit taller than him as it is. So we'll keep chatting it up here with Jace real quick about um, about Mountain Pines here for a second. We'll go to our Round Valley Elks. We talked about Colt, right? Colt likes the Xbox. How about Jet Vance? Jet Vance is the shortstop tonight. What do you mm -hmm. want, Jet? Uh, I knew Jet since when I played T-ball. Okay, did you play T-ball with him? Yeah. All right, what team were you on when you were on the T-ball? I was an Oakland A when yeah. I was in T-ball. What were you? We were the Oakland A's. No way. Oh, mm -hmm. I like you even more now. All right, bump that. All right, tell us about Quad. How about Quad McGregor, number 55? Um... He likes to joke around to like Lockhart. All right, all right. Got some jokesters on the team. Let's move on down to right fielder Emic Lettner. Tell us about him. Do you, I doubt you probably don't even know this person. Yeah. You do a little bit. Mm -hmm. He's my brother. Okay, let me guess. He likes Xbox. Not that much. He what? likes watching Mountain Men. Okay, okay. Can get annoying sometimes. A little bit annoying. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's right, fair enough. Brothers do that to you. All right, how about Liam Hewitt, no, center fielder number um, two, Liam Hewitt. He likes to... He likes Xbox? He doesn't like Xbox <laughs> that much. No? Mm. He's, like, serious about lots of stuff in that, which makes him good at this sport. Okay, he likes to focus, likes to get it done mm -hmm. that way in center field. Mm -hmm. How about Tavis McCreary, number one, your left fielder tonight? Um, he just likes to smile a lot, and he's the only lefty on the team. Oh, I like him even more Not now. only bats. But, but he bats right-handed. Mm -hmm. No, he bats lefty. But he throws right. Yeah, I think right or left, I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna, one or the other. He either bats, yeah. he either throws right or left. We're going to find out pretty quick. He's playing left field. Mm -hmm. Let's go on down to Dalton. Uh, we talked, that was that was Tavis, right? Yeah. Tavis lefty. All right. How about Dalton um, Gessner? Uh, Dalton looks a lot like Travis because they're like twins, but... But not? They're not. Okay. Brothers from another mother, I think is what that's called. Yeah. A little bit of that. Okay. How about number five, Kyson Wood? Finish the finish the lineup with Kyson. So Kyson is my sixth cousin. Sixth cousin? Mm -hmm. You know more about genealogy than I do, Jace. Mm -hmm. I don't even know genealogy. Sixth cousin, nine times removed? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. All right, one more thing. Last prediction as they get ready to bat. How do you think they're going to start things off tonight, Mountain Pines? I think they're going to do good. Okay. Well, we're going to see if that prediction comes mm -hmm. true. Jace predicts good from Mountain Pines. Why don't you pass the mic over to Fried Chicken. William Fried Chicken McBride, number 22 for the Round Valley Elks. Let's start things off talking about catcher for the Round Valley Elks. Right there on your screen, Trevin Hamblin. Um, he is one of my best friends, and... He is. How many times are you going to say that as we go through this? Oh, a He's lot. one of my best friends. He's, He's one of my best friend. friends. Um, he likes playing baseball a lot. <laughs> and Everybody giving Quinn a hard time, I'm telling you that right now. Right. How about Tyson Marble? Tyson Marble shortstop. Tyson is also my friend. Also one of my really good friends. Um, he... Is really funny. Okay. Balls, really good. Balls in, coming down. That was to Noah Puzis next on the lineup. Is yeah. Noah one of your good friends? Yes, he is. Holy crap, we got lots of stuff to do, guys, and I got lots of buttons to push all at the same time. Here we go. Yep. All right, you guys got. Jace, why don't you guys try to share that, Will? You guys get close and share it so you can both talk. Here we go. First pitch of the night. Here we go. We're off. Crack of the bat, right to shortstop. Picked up nicely. Sound lead, I believe, to your first baseman right there. Roan Gert, one pitch, one out. All right, pitcher for the Round Valley Elks, Dylan DeWitt, number 11. We're going to try to get a pitch count, but no promise that's going to be any good at all. Carly, no talking, unless you're going to help. That's a strike one. If you want to help with the book, that would be fantastic. You don't have. If you want to, come sit right here because that's one less thing. The ball's hit. It's still in play. Picked up by the pitcher. Throw. No throw. Pitcher's going to eat it. It's going to be good for a single. You are. Okay. 
That's my chair, so you can move it, whatever. You want to sit in the chair, dude? It's all yours. Okay. So we now, three pitches in. I'm going to try to just run the computer. This is going to be horrible here. We're going to miss strike. Lead off by the runner. All right, now you're going to have to help me with names and stuff because I gave Carly the book. Or I'll try to look what she's doing too. Here we go. Oh. Ball outside. Okay, one and one the count. Here we go. Ball outside. Makes it 21. Nice pitch. Guys, don't forget to hit that share button. Let your friends and family know that we are live here on Let's Go Else. Do it with the pitch. Crack of the bat, right in the oh. baseman. Runner doesn't tag up, and that is a double play for the Round Valley Elks, and we are already wow. headed to the middle of the first inning. I can't push the buttons fast enough. We're going to try to make the scoreboard make sense, but we are headed to the bottom of the first. That was... That was not what I was anticipating, if I'm completely honest. In the first inning, a play around Valley comes out strong. DeWitt with some good pitches. Not very many pitches, Carly. How many do we have? When I gave it to you, we were at three pitches. So, so seven total pitches for DeWitt is all that we got as we go into the bottom of the first. I know too, and the book's huge, right? It's like it's like the Senior Citizen Edition, I feel like, or something. Okay, Jace, talk to us about some of your fielders right here. You've got your list. Mountain Pines taking the field to get warmed up. First pitch warmed up by Mountain Pines. What do we got? I do not know. Who do you got? Look on. It's position number one. Who do you got as pitcher right now? Uh, Bronson Skousen. All right, tell us about Skousen. Nice um, pitch there over the top. So he played club ball with us this weekend, and he pitched very well. Okay. Nice pop of the glove there. Go ahead. All right, you got to get over there by Jay. Mm -hmm. Share the microphone. You guys got to be friends. Pretend you like each other for a minute. <laughs> you probably smell funny, though, so I feel bad for Jay. So. <laughs> All right, guys, we are warming up for the bottom of the first as Round Valley gets ready to bat. You're watching Let's Go Elks. Trevin Hammond will be first up to bat. Number 10, Trevin. I believe Tyson is second. You've got, did you get the lineup right there? That's why I gave you the paper. <laughs> Things are hard. So, guys, we are, we are in between. Should be Trevin first. There he is. I'm like, I can only do what's written down on the paper. That's just, I'm just guessing. Guys, while we get ready for the bottom of the first, hit that share button. Let your friends and family know on Facebook, on TikTok, on YouTube, on Instagram. I don't care that we are live here at Let's Go Elks. And please consider hitting that share button to join the herd. Hit that subscribe button, join the herd, get notifications when we go live. And join the chat. Let us know where you're watching from. Round Valley starting things off with left-handed batter Trevin Hamblin. The only left-handed batter too. That we've seen so far. And I think it's the only one. Oh yeah, Tyson is. Ball one. So there's two left-handed batters. Be a ball high and outside. Way to be, Trev. Count is 33 and 0. Typically, you won't see a coach tell a pitch or a swing here, but we'll see what happens. Yeah. Trevin's going to walk four pitches, four balls. And this is going to be interesting. I'm going to take a phone call from my wife, so she's going to be part of the live stream now. Hey, you're live on Let's Go Elks. Well. Call her. How you doing?
All right. Well, I love you. Hope you guys are doing well. Nice pitch right down the middle. Strike one. Runner stays on first. All right. Um, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Slowing down the pitch to the outside. Strike two. Oh, to the count for Marvel. Another lefty for the Round Valley Elks. It's going to be a low one. Hamlin's going to go, and they're going to get him as well. And they got a double play. That's going to be one good. pitch worth two outs. Third batter coming up for the Round Valley Elks with two away, just like that. Noah Puzis. It is too hard. There's too many buttons. That's all I know. So I apologize right now. The scoreboard, I'm going to get better at it. Ball one. I even gave the book away, and I'm still not doing good at my job. He's going to take a hit at it. He's going to dig and dig and dig. Pitcher will fumble the ball. That's going to be safe at first. Technically an error, Carly. Pitcher dropped the ball, fumbled the ball, right? So we're going to go to our fourth batter, Bryce. Bryce was on our team last year that I helped coach on the majors now. Bryce Noth, number 32. Bryce is playing third base. That's what he played for us last year, too. Bryce also pitched. Might see him pitch a little later today. Low into the outside, ball one. Catcher showing us he's got an arm to go, so it's going to make the batters think about it unless that ball's behind him. 1-0. It's going to be out of play. Strike one. Count is one and one. I'm interested to see the delay on this scoreboard to see how long it does take to see before it catches up. Count's now two and one. What's up? I do. It's on my lapel. Bryce, low and, low and a swing, two and two with two outs, bottom of the first. Round Valley with a runner on first base. Strike three, he got him right there. For, I believe it's Skousen, right? Skousen, the pitcher. Yep. We are going to go into the second inning. No runs. First base is the only base to be occupied so far here today. We're going to the top of two here in Springerville, Arizona. You're watching Let's Go Elks. While you got a second, hit that subscribe button and join the herd with us. And also share it out. Let Grandma in Atlanta know that the game is going right here in Springerville. Round Valley Elks back on the field defensively. DeWitt only with seven pitches in the first. Hamlin coming out to get him warmed up. Now, Marco, is it six or seven innings that will play all the way through if there's time? Is it six? Same as regular season, right? We're going we're gonna to figure out the rules as we go because, honestly, I have no idea what I'm talking about, which is true with most things. Jace, talk to us as Mountain Pines gets back their bats here in the second. Talk to us about who's coming up and what you think is going to happen with those batters. So Jace H is coming to bat. So I think he's probably going to hit one because we did some batting practice today at my house. Okay. You got him all dialed in at the house? Yep. Wind is slowing down just a little bit. It's still blowing in the batter's favor. So what's the secret sauce then? What are you telling him when you guys were doing that batting practice today? Um, just step forward and drive the ball. Yes. DeWitt and Hamlin once again getting warmed up. Outfield for the Round Valley Elks. We'll take a look here. We got, oh, here, let me flip the side real quick. Sorry, Carly. 
In left field, we got number 23, Branson Kaufman. Center fielder, Zeke Lesweer, number 44. And right fielder, Monty Bates, number seven for the Round Valley Elks. That's your outfielders. Here we go. Top of the second. We're back at it. One pitch dropping in, strike one. Crack of the bat, oh! right to the shorty. Marble didn't have to take a step at all, just raised his glove sandlot style, caught that, one away. Might have hurt his hand a little bit, too. That's it. They're young. They're young. It won't hurt tomorrow. All right, Jace, who's number 21? Tell me about him. Uh, Colt Moore. He did batting practice with us, too. Okay. Did you get him lined out as well? Yeah. Okay. Once again, the game is too fast. I've got the board updated again. Strike. Quinn thought about that. Must have been right on the outside line there. Nice pitch. One and one with one away here in the top of the second. Amen. I like Quinn. I really do. Ball high. Work with Quinn, actually. And then... Um, he officiates. I mean, you see him play. You see him in basketball. You see him all over the place. That one's going to be a low bouncer right there. Ball three. 31. Coach Lettner letting him know we're not swinging unless it's a good one. Do it. Just needs to get it across the plate. We've seen so far Mountain Pine's not afraid to hit the ball. That's it right there. Grazing that outside. Full count. Full count, one away. Here's the delivery. That's going to be a high ball. Number 21 heading to first. He's going to round and look. Yeah, it's not It's not the regular season anymore. We're stealing bases. We're scoring points. All of a sudden, all of a sudden it makes sense why we hustled the first. We've been waiting for years. He's going to go. Hamlin with a nice toss. Unable to make the completion, though. We will steal second. Nice throw by Hamblin. Nice placement to the second baseman. Cusis unable to get it locked down. Ball one. Honestly, I'm just going to simplify the scoreboard. I can't keep up with balls and strikes. I'm not that talented. It's going to be a high ball, too. Runner's going to head towards third. Hamblin will eat it. Rustin, talk to me about that. Are you more, more likely to eat it on a throw to second or on a throw to third? Your thoughts? Um, more likely to eat it on a throw to second. Okay, because it's farther away? Yeah. Okay. All right. 3-0, and oh, the count for Vance. Ball four, he's going to take his base. going too fast. Runners on first and third, number 55, McCreary. No, oh, this is McGregor. Sorry, there's two mix. This is McGregor. It's high. Hamblin eats it. Almost gets him. He wouldn't have hesitated. They could have had him. Yep. Tricky, tricky. That was a ball one. Top of the second one away, counting is one and oh. Hamblin successfully keeping the runner at first. I was too busy watching third. I thought he had made it to second. No, runner back on first. Strike, now he's gonna go. We're gonna eat it. They're wise to that now. It's gonna take a little bit for that to Surprise him again. Counts 21, though. Two and one, one away. Runners on second and third. Jace, what are you thinking? I don't know what I'm thinking. Probably if they get bases loaded, 
Someone might hit a home run. I don't know. Oh, man. Looking for that grand slam action. Jace is. <laughs> Three and one the count. Here's the pitch. Nice. No, oh, that's going to be outside, which will load the bases up. All right, Jace, who's coming up to bat? Who's got the opportunity? And McLettner is up to bat. Your brother? Yep. Talk to us about your brother here. Bases loaded, one away. Well, he he doesn't even like some of the video games I don't even play. We're back to Xbox. Now we're talking about it. He likes to watch Mountain Men, though, is what I hear a minute ago. Mm-hmm. We watch Alone. Ooh, strike, strike one on, on oh, strike the two on there. Him. Takes a takes a cut at it. So Alone was one of those shows that I started to watch for me, thinking I could watch it without my family because they wouldn't be interested. No, the entire family got sucked in to the show. Strike three strike on Strike three, him. it's going to be a strikeout with two away now. Bases loaded, two away. The Elks with a good opportunity for containment right now. Number two, Hewitt. Hewitt is playing center field. I want to say for the Lobos, like the colors almost got me, but it's Mountain Pines. Crack oh. of the bat. It's going to be over oh. second base. We're going to score First one. First run scores. We're going to score two. Two. Runners are going to get. Runners. Runners are going to be split at one and three. Two runs on the play. Hit it right where he needed to. <laughs> Two outs. Runners on one and three again. Not a great position for the Elks to be in. Anticipate a steal here to put the Elks on two and three. Less of a chance with two away, though, because Hamlin does have the arm to get the out. Here is our left-handed batter you were telling us about, Jace. Yep. What's up? Um... And well, if we... I didn't know, then, the, then they would have told me. Whew. Strike one. Runner will advance to second. Runner's on two and three now. One, one strike. <laughs> Plays at one for the Round Valley Elks. Two away, one strike. Ball to the outside. I think they just said flamingos. No, amigos. I was, I'm kidding. Thank you, Jay. So mm -hmm. it's going to be high. <laughs> no, said amigos. Okay. Who gave him a microphone anyway? <laughs> Stick to the scoreboard. Maybe that's the better idea, Will. Maybe I'll just give you the other mic and you guys can talk it out. All right, guys, don't forget. Hit that share button. Let your friends and family know. It is only the second inning right now. The Round Valley Elks trailing by two after a nice hit into just over the second baseman, the center fielder. They're brought in two. Runners on two and three. First game of the tournament, there are mistakes like that that can happen, right? Traven didn't call the timeout, so the ball was live. He's going home. And that Ball scores the third run. At home. That's going to be another score for Mountain Pines. Runner now only on third base. Yep, a oh, one and three. Yep, one and three, sorry. Going to change the, change the score now. Mountain Pines up three to zero. Number 76 now up to bat. I believe we're near the bottom of the lineup. Yep, two left in the lineup for Mountain Pines. This is Dalton Gessner. Crack of the oh. bat Dalton again, right between second wow. base and Shorty. Picked up by the center fielder. Great hit. A little bit of hesitation by the throw. Runners headed home. Another run will and score. And a double. Grab the mic. 
Will, what does Round Valley need to do to get things adjusted now and get things dialed back in? Get over there by Jace. Share the mic. Uh, they would probably just need to get a easy out at first or... M mentally, though, right now what's going on, how do you reset your brain? How do you get back into the game right now as the Elks? Just a few mistakes, a few good hits, have them down five runs. I would... Um, Probably just tell my pitcher, relax, just get your head in the game. Let's just get one okay. more out. That's good. Sometimes that walk up there just to talk to your pitcher will make all the difference, right? It's going to be a strike, too. One and two, now the count, two away. Elks trail by five here in the top of two. Elks will need to get their bats out. We are one pitch away right here. DeWitt can get it across the plate. Nice, that's going to do it. Damage has been done, though. So rule four majors, 9 to 11. I was going to bring that up a minute ago. Drop third strike equals a live ball. So catcher's got to have his head on straight. First baseman's got to be ready. And again, if you hustle the first like we talked about early, that can result in all the difference. Were you? Was it a college game? Did you guys just watch that game recently? A dropped third strike resulted in a two-run home run in the park home run because the catcher just ran and hugged his pitcher and they'd won the game and you can see two runners just doing the bases the whole time and one player knows i think like the third baseman figures it out but the ball's nowhere to be found because the catcher had it turn the game around from a four to five loss to a six to five win just like that dang that's crazy yeah it was nuts all right guys let me um adjust the count and the scoreboard and the outs and the bases. There are way too many buttons for this scoreboard. I like the one that just says, what's the score? But we are bottom of two. Here in Springerville, Arizona. Will, who do we have up in the Round Valley lineup coming up next? Um, we've got Roan. He's number Number 12, Roan Gert, oh. first baseman. First baseman. He's getting things dialed in. Yep. Okay. And, and then after that, we got Zeke Lasweer, center fielder, right? Yeah, Zeke Lasweer, center fielder. And then after that, dare I say, one of your really good friends, number nine, Mason Latham. Mason Latham. That's right. Judge Latham said he was going to be watching the live stream tonight. Judge, if you're on the stream, hit that chat, let us know but I believe Judge Lathan joining the Let's Go Elks Herd on the live stream tonight. Yep. Missed the throwdown. All right, guys, here we go, bottom of second. Number 12. Round Valley calls their first batter in. Let's get after it. Going up to bat. <laughs> yeah, it's Monday, that's depressing. Ball one. Go ahead and count. Scouse not with a lot of pitches. I think he's between 10 and 20. Ball, Ball two. two. Here's somebody chatting about it right now. We are broadcasting live on YouTube at Let's Go Elks. And that is why we have PPE right there. PPE is personal protective equipment. Three, you know the count. I almost thought he was like selling peanuts right there. Is what that? <laughs> Just the way that he inflected his voice. I'm like, I'll take some peanuts. What do we got? Or he takes his base. Gert will walk to one. He's gone. Even his brother are cookie cutters. Zeke. The same. Yeah. Zeke looks weird. Number 44 up. Really say that, up to Zeke playing center field. That's right. Yep. All right, here we go. Runner on first round. I'll need to start chipping pitch. away at that deficit. Swings nice pitch to swing at. Zeke underneath it, though. You know, not that anybody likes to ump with league games, but I love the catchers when I ump because some of them have the funnest personality. It's just Got hilarious. Yeah. And he's definitely one of them. I love it. 0-2 oh, the count. Zeke, you got this? Yep. 
Foul ball, staying alive. Yep. Staying alive. Crack of the bat. Toss to second. We'll get the runner at two. Leswear will get to first. One out. That's going to bring up Mason Latham. Let's go, Mason. Bottom of the second, one out. You guys can use those chairs, Marco, too, if somebody wants to sit up there. Brad, sit down. And a miss. Nothing more comfortable than a concrete picnic table. That's what I'm talking about. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> Whoa, he just offered a Santa Claus ride. That's what that was right there. It's not squeaky. Did you guys get that WD-40? Yes, he did. It's going to be strike two, one and two. Now the count for Latham. Sun has set now. That's nice. Wind is calming down, just a gentle breeze now. Here we go. That's gonna be low. Catcher trying to frame it, but it was pretty low to the ground, two and two. One away. See if Latham can get it in play. That's gonna be high for a full count. Yeah, it's full. Me too. Pitcher doing a good job with changing the speed of his pitch a little bit. Those are slowing down and dropping in. It's catching us off guard. Yep. Latham underneath that one, and we're going for it. He is going to get under that tag. Danger, danger, Will Robinson. We've got Monty. Monty up to bat. Monty Bates. Monty Bates up for the Round Valley Elks as they trail. Zero to five here in the bottom of two. He is, I think, right or left field. High pitch. Bates, let's take a look, is in, wait. He's a right fielder. Nine is right field. He's going to swing at that one, one and one. Ball two. Ball two. I believe the count's 21. Swings. A little bit late on the decision to swing there, I think. 22 is now the count. Yeah, coach confirming you're behind it just a little bit on that one. Choke up, swing hard, two and two with two away. Here we go. Don't want to swing at that one. Full Ball. count. delivery. It's going to be low. Bates is going to get himself on first. Runners on one and two. Somebody flip their hat around. Addison Brown, let's go, bud. Addison Brown was on your team, wasn't he, Will? Yep. Tell us a little bit about Mr. Brown. So, he was actually in minors, not majors, in the and got pulled up to play. Yep. He's a Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. They got to get the throw to third. Nope, they're going to go to first. So smart play by the shortstop. Addison's got little legs. It's going to take him a minute to get to first, unfortunately. Fielder's choice throws to first. Is going to get that third out. But nice hit by Brown getting a bat on the ball as we go into the third inning. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Let's go Elks and joining us this evening here as we broadcast from Springerville, Arizona. As we go to the top of the third. But as in, he was in minors, moved up to majors. He's a year older. Yeah, so. he didn't give us very much time to talk about him, did he? No. And then he was pretty good. He's um playing. I don't, I don't think he's playing right now. Addison, no, not currently playing in the field, unless he is now, unless he came out. 
I have not heard the coach go to the box, so I don't think we have any fielding changes at this point. DeWitt still on the mound, Hamlin still catching. Harrison's on Harrison Slate. I saw him right there. Oh, I did not see him. There's three. Here you go. Is that working okay? Is that good? All right. I don't know why they don't like that one. You have the same name and number, so. Give me one. Tell me. That has made it nice. My boys elected for the same number as well. So McBride 22 just keeps working. Yep. We're just getting more jerseys. So it's all right. It's all right. And then all of our all-star shirts match. So That's it. Everything great. matches. All right, Jace, talk to us as we get ready to go into the third inning of play here in Round Valley. Who do we have coming up for Mountain Pines? Oh, we have Bronson again. Bronson. So we, we have gone all the way through the Mountain Pines lineup. Yep. Bronson, about six and a half foot tall. <laughs> Bronson, scows and pitching, correct? Pitching currently for Mountain Pines. Here's the first pitch, and I've got to get back to my job. Nice drop in strike one. <laughs> on yeah, you can be patient and wait on that one. That is a very hittable ball right there. Pitch for DeWitt. High ball one. So lights in the outfield, always a thing. We'll see. We'll see how long that goes. I just, my blood pressure went up just a little bit. <laughs> Crack of the bat. Do oh. it not get to it. Scouts is going to make it. Oh, oh, nice scoop, though. Nice scoop by Gert, salvaging it as a single. No, bring oh, they must up. be watching the live stream because they got their lights turned off. I have Brigden Slate now. So the first one that I had up is 16, and then the next one that I have up is 10. 10. Five was the last out is what I have, Shanna. I struck out. Do you have? He struck out last now? inning, correct? Yeah. Top of the order for this one. Yeah, so started with Skousen. Number five, he struck out. Heaven help us all when Let's Go Elks is being referenced as a book that matters. That's all I got to say right Why now. They ask me? That's stressful. I know. <laughs> did the coach just give us a dirty look? Were we supposed to be like, no, Kyson didn't bat. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it's, it's, not like, it's not like they could go back and watch the live stream. <laughs> So DeWitt, Mitch, DeWitt misses the ball, but fortunately scooped up and caught the forced out, which actually worked out really nice because I think we would have seen DeWitt throw to first if he would have picked that up. So we're going to be one out, runner on first. Where would you have thrown? But you would have had to turn all the way around to make that throw happen. And the runner's already on his way. Oh, he belted that one. Center and left. Pass the left fielder to the fence. That's going to score one. He's off to the races. Runner's headed to third. He's got to play at third. Hesitation's going to let him be safe at third. No. Nope. Triple. Nothing you can do with that. That's a good hit. Solid hit. So I believe, okay. I had seen, I had seen Quinn. So, so Marco, what's the play then? Where are we at? Because if he called interference, that should be an out. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Okay, so there was interference at first base, sports fans. And if they would have called him out at third, they would have called him safe because of the interference that happened at first. Yeah, we have 22. So no pitch occurred, no pitch occurred and so they there. fixed it. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Number 22. Jace, tell me about 22. Um. <laughs> what do they do in making us have any semblance of like officialness? This is this is for fun. This is for fun. Okay. 
Yeah, this this is for fun. Oh, that's back a Back of the great back. Center crack. fielder running for it. Is oh. it going to make it? It's going to almost make it to the fence. Scores one. Runner's going to get to two. Stand up double. Hard crack on the bat. Sound like a wood bat, but it was metal. Yeah, Jace, that definitely did not sound like an aluminum bat, did it? Nope. Number 21 now up to bat. Flea? Moore. Moore. Foul ball. Fouled right it back to it. us. It is getting pink. It's a very nice sunset. Oh, one the count. Here's the pitch. Crack oh, about popped up between second and first. Didn't it's going to bob. And he would be ground. safe. They will advance the runner. Letner looking to send him home. DeWitt's got to keep his head up there, looking at the runner at third. We got runners at one and three. Keep your head up. You're fine. Runners on first and third, now one away. Wind is calming down a little more like this is baseball weather. Carly, it took us three months to get here and we've got some baseball weather now. The blankets are not out anymore. People are wearing shorts. We just washed ours. I'm like, I don't think I need to put it in the car. I brought it anyway. Count's going to be 2-0 and oh now. Two balls, one away. The Elks trailing by seven against Mountain Pines. He's going to take a crack at it. Second baseman's going to scoop, throw. Runner's going home. Again, he's headed home. Bounce off the fence. It's going to miss. Runner will score two on that, so I believe it's going to be two away, 9 all the score. I believe there that was still a good is RBI. after four, right, Marco? we got to play four innings, 15 after three. Did, did he – so the runner – there wasn't necessarily a play, and I don't think he slid home there, but I don't think he knew. Anyway. That becomes a more dangerous thing. Got to slide into home, but I think it's all right. Brown Valley taking a timeout. The infield having a little chat as we hit the pause button here as the Elks trail 9-0 to zero with two away. Where did I miss this one? Where did this one go? Is he who just got out? Did he get out? Are there two out? There's two away. He got out at first. He got out at first and two runs came in. So we're seeing Round Valley hesitate a little bit, which is causing us to miss some outs. Um, Round Valley's got to rock and fire and make those throws. You can see him thinking about it, and it's causing us a little bit of grief. Yep. Ball one. How did licorice magically appear in front of me? I don't know what just happened. Is, I don't know what magic this is. Ball two. So, Jace, is this pretty typical of Mountain Pines? You warmed them up at batting practice at the house today. Is this what you expected to see from Mountain Pines today? Yep. They have confidence of making it to states. Okay. Winner of this game gets a break until Wednesday. Loser tonight plays Silver Creek tomorrow, I do believe. He's going to swing at that high one again. Two and two the count. One away. Two and two. Here's the pitch. And he doesn't swing at that one. DeWitt, DeWitt doing a good job with that high pitch that was slower. Caught him twice. He doesn't swing. So a backwards K for DeWitt as we go into bottom of three. Round Valley needing to get some runs on the board to stay in this ball game. As we go the ball game. That's how words work as we go into the bottom of the third inning here in Springerville. Zero outs. Update. Scoreboard's good. You're watching. Let's go Elks. Okay, I'll send it to you. You're like looking this way, right? <laughs> I was like, 
like, like, like it's I don't know. And then I wasn't like really, I told Wesley, I'm like, like shit, I hope that I didn't just write up. <laughs> <laughs> My dad was like, turn around. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> and then she finally got straight down. Yeah. 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 Once again, ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Let's Go Oaks coverage of 9 to 11 All Stars here in Springerville, Arizona. The 8 to 10 year olds will play in Holbrook versus Holbrook Thursday, 5 p.m. We will be covering that game as well. Brandon Kaufman up to bat, number 23. Kaufman up to bat. We'll talk just about the Elks. What do they need to do to dig themselves out of this score deficit that they find themselves in right now? Just get like. Base hits, back to back, and I think if they can get that consistent and base hit, they'll be able to. That's going to be a crack of the bat into center field, bounce in the grass. Center fielder will scoop it. Branson's going to hold it one, one pitch, one hit. It's a single. Job, Branson. So what you're saying is that's exactly what the Elks needed to do to start things off. Yeah, and then they just need to keep on doing it, be consistent with it. And just keep on keeping on? Let's see what happens right now. Number 11. They'll be able to. Do it, choosing a little bit too late to swing at that one. Hold on. Sorry, Will, they'll be able to what? They'll be able to get runs in back to back. Okay. High ball. One and one the count. To take the throw. First pitch into center field. Nice little placement for a single. He's on single. Oh, I got to put him on first. Ah, buttons. A lot of buttons. And take it off third base. Yep. Change of bases. Got to add a strike. One and two the count. This is DeWitt. Pitcher for the Round Valley Elks. Foul ball. Carly, you can't do that. They might need you. They might need our book. <laughs> that would never happen. Pin. That would never. Staying alive? Okay, what's happening? Is this is a baseball game. Okay. Foul off the tip. He's going to swing at that one, too. It's going to be a foul ball, so he's going to stay alive at one and two. No outs. Runner still on first. Job, Dylan. Time to take a breath, dial it in. Oh my goodness. Shanna's fault. Just kidding. <laughs> That's a good one to watch. 22 the count. Pitch count is 41 unofficially here on our book. We stress unofficial. <laughs> stress, stress unofficial. That's going to be a ball outside. Look good as a pitch. Might have been a little bit low, a little bit to the outside. Full count. Here's the delivery. That's it. That's He's out. It. One out. Somebody's still on first. Harrison Slade up to bat, number 25. He Seriously, I get watching the game too much, and the count gets off. Switching New the pitcher. pitchers for Mountain Pines. Because they only have a two-day break. They're either playing tomorrow or Wednesday, depending on how things go. What was our switch? Number four is now the pitcher. Number four is not Noah no. Puzis. That's not, that is not how that works. It's Jet Vance. Jet was playing shortstop, now coming to the pitcher. I believe they just swapped positions, so we got one to six is what Mountain Pines is doing. So give us just a few minutes here as the new pitcher gets warmed up, and we'll be right back at it for the bottom of the third as the Elks trail, zero to nine in Springville. 44 was the pitch count. We're doing good. Look We're doing that. money. <laughs> money. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is on accident. So we got We're Harrison Slade up to bat. Ever. <laughs> Ivan Cisneros and then top of the lineup, Trevin Hamblin. When I'm panicking in a little while, he didn't actually bat because I was just messed up. I, I started with him when I should have been here. <laughs> so just, just right, stressed FYI. out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oops. When I'm panicking, that's what's going to happen. So Harrison's up to bat. That's what Will was telling us. Yeah. Will, tell us a little bit about Harrison. Besides that, he's about nine and a half foot tall. Um, 
Harrison, he is one sweet. of my good friends. <laughs> he is yes, also one of my good friends, and he um. Drawing a blank. Yeah, yeah. That's all right, because it's time to get back to the action. One away, bottom of the third. Harrison Slade, right. number 25. Here he goes. New pitcher, fresh arm. Pitcher likes that one. Vance shakes his head yes. A little bit of heat ball. on the outside. Ball one. Number 25. Place pretty two. much in the exact same place, ball two. Yeah, he likes that outside. Nice. Harrison waited for one that was off speed. Got underneath it, though. Foul ball, two and one the count. If you have not joined the herd yet, do us a favor to so consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We're also on the Facebooks, the Instagrams, the Twitter. The pitch. All Hits it, fell. at Let's Go Elks. Two and two the count. Will keeping us into the game. One away, two and two. That one I'm not sure. His first two pitches were to the outside. He was underneath his first foul. That one's on the ground. Stealing. A little bit late to the party. He's going to make it, though. Catcher's going to eat it, so runner will advance. Second base. Second, full count with one away. Gives the runner some options now, being on second. The pitch. Here comes Harrison. Swing and out. Run, run. Off speed pitch. Dropped third strike. Ivan Cisneros up to bat. Just, just a little bit of hesitation there. And again, Lynn causing him an out. So it's going to be two outs now as we get things updated too. Runner stand up, steal to third. On third. One and the count. This is new batter. Yep, one and all. Ooh. Ooh. Quick hit to the helmet. Two and all the count. Uh, two and all the count. It's not an official book. It's just for the live stream. It's for our commentary. <laughs> Pitch. Strike one. Underneath the strike late one. on it. 21 the count. Stealing home. Round Alley's going to get on the board. That puts us on the board. Two and one the count. Two away. Round Valley now on the board with Cisneros at the bat. Start a rally, Ivan. Ivan looking to get a hit. Big gaps between center and left and center and right. Just got to get it over the head. That's a ball low. Three and one. Three and one. Yep. A walk would a walk or a hit would be really good for us. See what Cisneros does with it. Here's the pitch. Foul. Foul ball out of play. Full count. Number zero. So did I hear crack of the bat, Sis Narrows with it. Nice scoop by Vance, though. Nice grab out at first. We're headed into the fourth. One to nine. Wait, what, what inning is it, Carly? Excuse me? Uh, what inning? Is it, is it the fourth inning? I think it might be. I think it might be the fourth inning right now. I apologize. I apologize for the inside jokes, ladies and gentlemen. If you know, you know. One to nine, top of the fourth, the Elks trail by eight. DeWitt still on the mound. Questionably 50-some pitches-ish, 
I think. <laughs> They're going to probably be pulling him out this inning if they don't get three up, three down. So Round Valley electing to pitch him out because anything now would uh, result in too much rest for him to play by Wednesday. Close enough. Close. Don't distract her. Why? <laughs> Why? His shirt came in and it's too small. That we don't like. It's not what I was right, expecting. Dylan, not what I was expecting. <laughs> That's usually the joke I make. <laughs> Fat man in a little coat. Pretty sure everybody is... Wishful, th wishful thinking oh, is what that is right there. We got Addison Brown in right now. Yeah, Marco Baca sporting a crop top today. <laughs> What? Oh, it's last Strike one. Well, no, and it is the coach that has to call that. The coach has to say that he thinks that something's out of out of order. Um, but it was the opposite for us, actually. We were confirming that the batter was correct because they were in the right order, and it was questioned. Dropped in ball two and one. <laughs> it's going to be a ball three and one. Three and one's a count. Do it with the delivery. That's oh. a nice hit. Pick oh. up. Oh, That's an out for the Elks. What was that, Will? Shorty? Great. Now that song's going to be in my head now. Thank you for that. Jace, talk to us, buddy. Number two's up to bat. This is Hewitt, correct? Mm -hmm. It's going to be a strike one. Too much going on. Top of four. High pitch ball one. <laughs> Gonna make it two and one. Now I know we've been over this many times, but how many pitches can you do? Depends on his age. No, no, so it does. Every every year it changes. So I believe for DeWitt, if he's 11, I believe it's 85. Somebody drop us a message in chat if you know the answer to that. What is the pitch count for DeWitt? We think he's 11. 928-251-0005 if you know the answer, if you don't want to drop it in the YouTube chat. Oh, he belted! Pop off into the hole between Shorty, left and center. He's going to get to two. Got him. That's an out at second. Nice throw. Got a lefty up to the plate. Who was that center fielder? Left picked it up. Left would be Bronson. Branson. Strike one. Lefty's going to one-handed swing on that one. Number one up to bat, left-handed batter. Who's our left-handed batter, Jason? Uh, Tavis McCreary. Tavis McCreary. He's going to swing at that one way out. Hey, my car's over there. 
Yeah. That was fouled our way. It hit a car right there. That sounds fun. Whose was it? Mariah's car. Aww. That's what you get for getting here early and getting a good spot. Foul ball. Bong. Yeah, it didn't shatter, so that's definitely not a not a glass claim. I think there was some hail, I think is what that might have been. Ball. Ball. One and two's the count. <laughs> Another high and outside ball, too. I believe the count's 22, Carly's up. Yep, I just heard Quinn confirm. Takes a ball right there. Full count. Mountain Pines leading 9-1 to one here in the fourth, top of four. And Ooh, I takes ball four in. on that. Must have been outside. Yeah, it must have been on the outside because it dropped in at the right height. I don't want his job, I'll tell you that right now. It's like Carly wanting the bookkeeping job. I mean, who wants that job? Crack of the bat. DeWitt makes the throw. That'll work. That'll work. Good job on the not quitting situation. That's going to take us to the bottom of four as Elks need to get their bats out. Carly, where are we at in the lineup? We have uh, third out. So we're at the top again. We have Trevin. Yep, Trevin Hamblin up to bat. Top of the lineup. Catching. Round Valley with 13 batters in three innings of play. We need to see Round Valley working more batters through this inning as they try to pull out of this deficit as they trail one to nine. You're watching Let's Go Elks. That was better. Trevor Hamlin is going to be up to bat. So I like these microphones because they're little and it's easy to set up. I don't like that I don't have a mute button. That is one thing that I'm not, not having a fan of. But we're trying some new gear tonight here at the Little League situation. Um, we even got a fisheye lens, which I think I like, kind of, sort of, maybe. Um, giving some new stuff a try, though. This is some of our mobile rigs that we're looking to use for some of our um, coverage of other sports here in the fall. This is our first shot um, trying it out. New scoreboard, Tyson, new microphones, uh, marble, a little bit of new uh, situation. Second, playing shortstop, and no Puzis playing second That's it, base. and I almost like the headsets better, but this is nice. This yeah. is actually nice. I feel like I'm talking louder though, which I'm like, poor. No, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Number four, Vance pitching as we go into the bottom of four. Here goes the top of the lineup for the Round Valley Elks. Number 10, Trevin Hamblin. Let's go, Trevin. Let's go, bud. Come on, Trevin. Let's go, Trevin. Catcher for the Round Valley Elks. I believe right handed thrower, left handed batter. Yes, like Tyson. Ball. He bats left. Crack at the bats, gonna bobble to the second baseman. Barely first out. We'll get a hold of it. That will be the first out in the fourth. Tyson marble up to bat. Got to hit the ball to get on base. Yeah, Vance, their second pitcher of the night. Number four, Vance started off at the shortstop, now pitching. And Skousen moves to the shortstop position. Popped up out of play. Mariah. Mariah, it's okay. That one got the fence. That's one strike on it. Owen won the count. The pitch. Let's go, Tyson. Oh, to the count. Jace, you tired, buddy? That long day of batting practice? Will, talk to me. You got the mic. What's going on, fried chicken? Um, Tyson's up to bat. Yeah. Number three. 
Count is one and two. Tyson Marble, left-handed batter. He's going to hit it right where Trevin did. Out. Deja vu, copy-paste, whatever you want to call it. Two batters, two outs. Second base to first base. It's going to bring up Noah Puzas. I think switching out pitchers, maybe? No, I think it's just a little bit of a chat. I think we're just talking it. Yeah. Because um, Vance doesn't have a lot of pitches on right now. Noah up to bat. And is it 35, 35 or 45 with no rest? I apologize. I don't have that off the top of my head. They are switching pitchers only after about. Twenty-two for four. Vance will go back to shortstop. Skousen, I believe, is now on first base. Did we have Jace on first before twenty-two? Uh, yeah. yeah. So Jace. Yep, Skousen now on first. Utility player for Mountain Pines. Number twenty-two. Left-handed pitcher. Four is now back on shortstop. Position six. Here we go. Okay, he's back to six, and then uh, we have 22 is now pitching. He is one. Different release on this pitcher. Hopefully the Elks are watching it right now. Left-handed, so that's different. And watch how he releases this ball. The pitch. Was he at your hitting camp today now? Yes. Was anybody not at your hitting camp, Jace? Does everybody show up to this? Everybody, that's what I'm talking about. Once again, a huge thanks to Jace Lettner on the microphone with us tonight alongside Fried Chicken McBride. Number 22 for the 8 to 10s that play on Thursday in Holbrook. Let's go Elks will be there. Heaven help us all. It is usually warm. I am bringing an umbrella. I'm bringing something to cover up with. The nice thing, though, is they've got, like, a little space there, so I can usually, like, make a tent, make a little tent situation. Yeah, we All right, Puzas is up. We're back at it. Swing yeah, yeah, it. Underneath it. No. Ball. He's going to hit the ball. Come on, Noah. Okay. Track it, bud. Track it. Again, loser of this game tonight plays Silver Creek tomorrow night, 7 o'clock here two. in Round Valley. Strike two for Puzas. You're all right. Hey. Fine. Will, how do you see, how do you get yourself out of an 0-2 situation? What do you do? How, what do you talk to yourself? What do you say? I usually say swing. Because my coach says always swing if there's two outs and it's good. If you want those hitting. Don't be afraid of hitting. Yeah. It makes sense. Makes sense. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Round Valley failing to get any more points on the board as we go into the fifth inning of play. Top of five Same. as the Elks trail. One to nine. DeWitt still on the mound for the Round Valley Elks. Hamlin got his gear on, getting ready to warm him up. Trevin's still behind the plate. I'm sorry, my eyes don't work very well. I see 44 at center field. That is. We're going to take a look right now. We've got Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. Zeke, yep, started in center, so he's still there. That's just the number I saw. 23. So what's up? So something different from a pitch count perspective is this isn't high school. Well, we're going to see. We'll know in about 14 pitches or so, because I thought 85 would be the pitch count for an 11-year-old, but I could be wrong. Um, I think that's what we were doing for right? All right. Right. I'm not sure what changes, though. Number five, that's how that works. Bottom of the order, Kyson Wood for Mountain Pines. All right, Case, or Jace, here we go. Oh. Right to third base with a scoop and a, oh, Bryce unfortunately get a bobble it, getting him on first base. A little bit of frustration there, understandably so. No, 
Now back to the top of the lineup. Now we are top of the lineup. Skousen, who currently playing first base for Mountain Pines. It's a good name. I don't know where I was, but I announced Jackie Lackey. And I mean, that's just an awesome name to announce too. And I said it with apparently some enthusiasm. And she's like, what do you just really like saying my name? I'm like, yes, I do with a name like Jackie Lackey. Are you kidding me? It's up. DeWitt's on eight. Oh, he touched it, so it is fair. If DeWitt would have let it bounce out, it would have been a foul ball. Tough to make that call in the moment. See if they could get bases loaded. Yep. And would it have bounced? Like you don't you don't know. And so DeWitt tries to scoop it and get it. Unfortunately, calls the or makes the ball fair. As now we get number ten. He's gonna hit it high, throw three. Got him at three. We're gonna we're gonna stop the lead runner. I almost feel like it's three pitches, three hits. Mountain Pine's not messing around right now. Hey, all I have to do is change the outs. Will, I should let you run the computer. You're more on top of that than I am. Jace is number 99 on the jersey, number one in your heart. I don't know. He hit two home runs in a practice. Hit two dingers. Ball's going to get missed. Runners will advance to two and three, and Hamblin will eat it. DeWitt watching. Runners will advance to two and three, ball one. Everybody was a little bit sad when they said we can't have walk-up songs. Oh, Nice gap hit between first and second by the right fielder. We're going to score. Another triple. That kid's got some wheels. Two runs correct on that. It is 10 runs, but we have to play the rest of the fifth inning, I believe. Brown Valley gets the chance to keep it within 10. So My dad Valley calls 99 little Joe back. Diffie. <laughs> we need two outs, and then we need to get our bats out for Round Valley to stay alive in this ballgame. Number 22, currently pitching for Mountain Pines up to bat. Oh, ball foul ball. Foul. Root beer? What was that? Caffeine, Mom? Okay, lots of caffeine. Okay. Almost takes a swing at it. Runner on third, taking a couple steps in. Not going to go. Count is 2 and 0. Oh. Wait. 2 and 1. I thought I heard Quinn say 20. But I think he has a strike on him. So we're going to go 2 1. Yet yeah, 1 away. 2 and 1. That's high, ball three. Jace, 99's got some wheels on him. Where did he learn to run so fast? Uh, Flagstaff in the freezing cold up there. <laughs> Is he from Flagstaff? Yeah. Yep. All right. That was a lot. Base on balls. Runner's going to be on one and three. Been growing a mullet for like 12 years. He, have you you've been growing a mullet for 12 years? No, he has. I'm like, it's not filling in, Jace. It's not working yet. <laughs> I'm working on one. You're working on it? I like it. Strike one. <laughs> Business in the front, party in the back. <laughs> Don't take dad's rocking chair. One and one the count. Runner's still on first, so runner's on one and three. One away. Now, in the normal, in, in the regular season, you can start a batter approaching that limit and finish the batter. And so we'll see, we'll see if something happens. I honestly don't know, and I didn't hear what Coach Puzis was was talking to the um, to the stand with and to the officials. One and two, the count. Yes, 
That's a foul. Oh! Oh! I think that's fair. That was a nice shot down the third baseline. That was a nasty great two. shot. Nope, it's going to score one. Runners on two and three. Yeah, runner was on first. Oh, okay, so that, I think that's what he was telling Quinn, because in high school, I'm sure at a pitch count, you have to stop straight away, maybe. And in Little League, you can start a batter under the limit, and you can finish the batter. Yeah, so I, I think that's what Coach Puzis might have been talking to the officials about, just to make sure um, that DeWitt was where he needed to be. And now we're going Noah. Noah Pisa is currently making a sandcastle. I think you're right. I think that's correct. He's got he's got his sandcastle. Now he's warming up. Well, we got a little bit of break in the action, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Jump over to our Facebook page and Instagram. Give those a like and a follow. We cover as much Elks sports and fine arts and action and community events as possible here at Let's Go Elks. Where did DeWitt go? One? Yeah, he went one. She's on first. Word. Bryce went to two instead of three, right? Roan's at third, Bryce is at two, DeWitt's at one, and Pizas is, is pitching now. Okay. 11 is now position three. Bryce Knopf is now position four, which is second base for the fans at home. And pitcher went to third. No, pitch. Sorry. Pitcher went to first. Pitcher's at one. Yeah, so Noah is pitcher now. Yeah. So and yes, and the first baseman three went to five. Okay. Position three went to position five. Okay. Is this a new batter? Uh, yes. So I can clear my count. Currently pitching for Mountain Pines. We've got a new pitcher. We've got a new batter. One away, top of five is the Elks trail by 11. We lost Jace, Will. I know. Where'd he go? Where did the concessions, I think? Well, talk to us, Will. All right. I've been talking too much. Give us some commentary. Give me commentary. What? Here, call this batter right here. I'm just going to run the computer. This is all you. The pitch. Swing yep. misses. What's the count, fried chicken? Count is one and two. I one and one. One and one. The pitch. Swing misses. One and two. Two and two, the count. Yeah. On Vance, one away, top of the fifth. Runners on second and third. I think we're having some more, some conservative stealing now. I think these runners are not as quick as 99 was. Strike three. Hughes is getting it done that way. Two away. Fifty-five, Carly. What have we seen fifty-five do tonight? He came back the last time he struck out and then he you know, made it home. He had a walk. He walked and scored in his first at bat. He got caught looking. Didn't this is his third three, at bat. Didn't go home. One ball. One and oh. Swing misses. Uh, one and one count. Jace, you're back. I thought it just swung at one. I was like, oh, strike two. But it's not. Strike two. Dad, are you going to give one yourself? I thought I heard him say bunt. I'm like, I don't think I would bunt in this position right here. I mean, maybe. He's going to look at that one, two and two. Keep going, right. Will. Are you going to give yourself your own microphone? Hey, keep going. All right. You're talking. Two and two. No, the pitch. Good stop by Trev. Full count? Yep. 
Runners on second and third. Right, okay, well. Strike three. And got him on there. You guys do all the talking. It's you two. I'm scared. <laughs> Oh. You guys are set now, both of y'all. Yeah. We'll talk as we're in the middle of the fifth. What's up? Um, Grand Valley coming out to bat. We need two runs. Do we need one or two runs? We have to get it under ten runs. So, three, two runs. Well. Yeah, so to avoid the game stopping at 10 runs here in the bottom of the fifth, the Round Valley Elks need to at least score two to bring it within 10 to continue the ball game. Um, we think it's a six-inning ball game. We're not certain. We are well within time. We've only been playing for hour 15 right now. I don't know. Do you play till it's over? I have no idea. I don't think we're going to have that problem this evening. The game is moving quick, both sides of the ball. I'm not giving it to you. Give me the, give me the money. All right, Mountain Pines getting warmed up as the Mountain Pines. I don't know their mascot. I want to call them something, but I have no idea. Mountain Pines leading by 11 as we go into the bottom. I was going to say the cones. I was. That was going to be what I called them. But I didn't know if that was true. Jace, what is the mascot for I'm Mountain Pines? I'm the mascot. Pines? You're the mascot? So the Mountain Pines Jaces. <laughs> All right, well, here we go. We got Bryce, Noth, up to bat. Roan, and then Zeke, the Severe. Plus, Mountain Pines is a new team. They show them Blue Ridge combined this year. Okay, so this is a new, this is a new team. Mm-hmm. The pitch. Swing, crack a lap. Under the leg. Shortstop misses it. Whoa, whoa. Advances to two. Give this to your friend. Oh, thanks. Will, tell the fans what's up. We got. So. Bryce with a really nice hit that was a single, turn it into a double. Gert now up to bat. Round Valley starting things off the way that they needed to here to close the gap run-wise. He's going to look at that one, strike one. Strike one. Bryce with a good hit. In the pitch. Ball. One and one. No, they just got it. They just got it. Pit. Foul ball. Turns out I forgot there's two mascots for Mountain Pines. Me and Skelson's brother that they call Mrs. Bacon. Mrs. Bacon? Are you sure it's not the Mountain Pines Cougar Jackets? <laughs> no. We might call them the Cougar Jackets. 22 is the count, no outs. Gert up to bat with, I believe that's Bryce Noth on second, if I'm not mistaken. It is. Keep it going. Hello. Two and two, 22 count. Just with a foul ball. One more. Grab a lap. Come out, come out now. Got it. No. Safe or out? I thought they gave it to him. Out. He's out. Um, advancing to third. Bryce advancing to third on that hit. Zeke Lassure is a bat. I cannot say that last name. Lassure. Lassure. Mason. Oh, Latham almost got him right there. 
He got hit. Oh, guess I got him. Got him right in the behind. Mason lays him up to bat. I said that because my dad didn't want to. No. <laughs> I guess we're still in, I don't know. The pitch. Ball. We're going. Stealing the second. Who? The walk. Oh. Yeah, I don't, it looked like it skimmed him or something. Strike one. Mason, you're good. Just keep your head up. Give him the count. Talk it out, Will. Oh, I don't know. One and one, I think, is the count. The pitch. Too late, too late. Do I get on it? That's strike two. Runners on second and third. Strike three, batter's out. Mason, you're good. We got who's up? Monty. Monty Bates up with two away, bottom of five. Round Valley with the keep the game going run on second right now. Round Valley needs to bring both of foul these runs play. in to keep the ball game going. Two away, foul ball out of play down the first baseline for Monty Bates. The Mountain Pines Cougar Jackets hoping to clone things up. Round Valley looking to score two to keep things going. He's not going to go. Runners almost all the way to third at that point. That would have been okay if you would have thrown it. Ooh. One on one the count. Pitch. High. High one. Catcher grew about three foot right there to snag that ball. Yep. What was it, Stretch Armstrong? Isn't that what that was? Yep. That, that, even, that even is older than me. I just know that's a reference that exists. Yep. I guess Mrs. Incredible would be a closer one. Two and two the count, foul ball. Two and two the count, two away, Round Valley needing two runs, two of everything, 22 the pitcher. Here's the pitch. Well, that's going to end the ball game. Looking. And now the ball game with Mountain Pines winning. That will finish the ball game. The Mountain Pine Cougar Jackets taking the win. 1-12. to They will play on Wednesday. I believe Round Valley playing Silver Creek tomorrow evening here in Springerville. Guys, thanks for joining us. Let's go Elks' coverage of All-Star Baseball. It's been real, it's been fun, and it was even real fun. I think it was a good time. So, guys, thanks for joining us here in Springerville, Arizona, for some baseball coverage tonight. Be safe, have a good night, and make good choices. You've been watching Let's Go Elks. That's it. That's a wrap. Thank you, Jace. You're welcome. Appreciate you. Good team. I knew that one would be rough. A lot of those kids say that. Well, and when you consolidate, yeah. when you consolidate two teams, yeah. a Sholo team and Blue Ridge, you can double down on your talent, and that yeah. definitely helps. I know that they do tryouts and stuff, but like, there's so many, so many kids. So. I thought I heard them say that they just have some crazy amount of juniors teams, and I might be I wrong, but I heard. So it is. So I heard I heard that right. Just a crazy amount of juniors teams. Mountain Pines with a lot of talent, and they will get a day off. And then they play the winner of tomorrow night's game, I believe is how it goes, before we roll things up to the next location. Where is this game go to after Round Valley? Oh, I've got too many brackets in my head right now. So, guys, have a good one. Peace. I'm ending.